the search for guidance from voices within Buffalo's Catholic community. Yeah, this one day after the bishop addressed bankruptcy and church closures, parishioners are pushing back, telling us they want more transparency from the head of the diocese. We told you last night about a letter penned by some church members to Pope Francis. It claims the bishop's appointment three years ago did permanent harm to our Catholic community. Bishop Michael Fisher then sat down with Seven News for the first time in 18 months, and he told us his primary focus was getting the diocese through Chapter 11 bankruptcy. 24 hours later, Seven News once again giving a voice to Buffalo's Catholic community in a time of transition. I-team reporter Sean Mickey following up on bankruptcy proceedings within the diocese, but we begin with senior reporter Eileen Buckley. Reaction from Catholic neighbors to the bishop's remarks. They're asking the question, where is our shepherd? I think there's just an immense lack of trust now. Transparency would be key. I know some of what is happening is a need, some of it is uh, a desire, but I think it would make a huge amount of difference if there was just some honesty and some transparency. Sarah Schumacher is a parishioner at St. Andrew's Church in the town of Tonawanda. She is also a school parent at St. Andrew's Country Day School. A couple of months ago, I broke the story that the Diocese of Buffalo is closing the church and school at the end of June. Heartbroken and outraged, many parents told me the bishop needed to be there. I think it would have been much better received if there had been a trail of honesty leading up to it and his voice was more clearly on it. I think him being in person would have been more than ideal. We had competent staff people who were there who, who assured me that they were able to take care of that. That was Bishop Michael Fisher's response to not appearing at St. Andrews for the closing announcement. I met with him Thursday when I was granted a sit-down interview. The parishes have also been told that it is our responsibility to help pay back for these child abuse cases through the bankruptcy. Well, we have to be a Catholic family. We have to be together on this um, if we're going to get out of this. This is our moment to bring healing to those who have been harmed. The bishop says there will be more hard decisions to make and more potential closings as the diocese works its way out of bankruptcy following more than 900 child victim abuse cases against the Catholic Church. And it's not going to be easy. It's going to be painful. Even if we weren't in bankruptcy, we would have to be doing what we're doing. We don't have enough priests. Do you feel the shepherd is missing when it comes to the bishop's leadership? Unfortunately, that is all I can really come down to at this point, yes. They feel they're being lied to. They feel there's a yeah. lack of transparency from here. Mm -hmm. No, we're, we're, we're trying to get all the information we can to, so that we can provide that to the people. It's having short-term negativity, so I cannot even fathom what the long-term negativity will be, and that's a lot of the worry. Eileen Buckley, 7 News, Buffalo.